So, I was on YouTube the other day and I saw this video by Macho Nacho showing the various features of the GBX Cart uh, Pro, RW, whatever, whatever you want to call it, GBX Cart, um, made by Inside Gadgets. And I was looking through the comments and I noticed a lot of people saying, oh, you know, this looks like a really nice option. If only it came in like a clear, a clear acrylic shell like the GB Operator or, you know, something like that. There's a kind of similar option. Introducing, as you can see right here, a reproduction GBA cartridge shell. This slides over the GBX cart um, and just fits over the PCB, acting basically like the acrylic shell of the GB operator. But before I show you actually how to install it, I wanna give a little heads up. If you go to the Inside Gadgets website, as you can see here, GBX cart RW, InsideGadgets.com, 21 to 36 bucks. Here it states, all GBX Cart Pros will come with a reproduction clear GBA cartridge shell for you to place it inside. So, like in this picture, where the cartridge just fits over the PCB. Now, if you buy it from Inside Gadgets for roughly the same price as Retro Game Repair Shop, um, I think that's even after shipping, it's like probably it comes around 35, 40 bucks, and it comes with the clear shell. Now, if you go to Retro Game Repair Shop's website, the listing looks basically exactly the same, except it's forty dollars and ship, of course, extra shipping, and it doesn't come with a clear shell. Retro Game Repair Shop does not list this anywhere on the listing, and since it was the same price, I assumed that. Retro Game Repair Shop and Inside Gadgets were selling the exact same product, which is not the case. Yeah, so if you're gonna buy from Retro Game Repair Shop, include the $2 aftermarket shell. Otherwise, just buy from Inside Gadgets. And I bought from Retro Game Repair Shop because I thought shipping would have been faster, but in actuality, it took me like a week. It took like three days just to get my order shipped out, so I might as well wait it another week. So I don't have to spend $8 shipping plus $2 on the... Okay, whatever. Anyways, so if you buy from Retro Game Repair Shop, this is all you get. You'll get a cool sticker, and you'll get a coupon code for first-time order or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is all you're going to get. It's just this and a PCB. Maybe a USB A to C cable if you order it with it. But... What you're meant to do is you're meant to grab a reproduction GBA game. For example, this is a Leaf Green Repro or Bootleg, as it's more commonly known. Reproduction just sounds cooler, but it's really just a bootleg if you think about it. Open it, slide it open, whatever. And yeah, that's it. And now you'll be able to just put it in here and close it up. Now, of course, you can't actually close it up like this. You, you do actually have to cut because the USB-C port, if you can see that like right there, doesn't fit. You, you have to cut away some of the plastic in the shell, which I'm going to do right now. So what you'll need to do to do this mod, I guess, is a Sharpie or some other similar coloring object and then some flush cutters all right with the flush cutters okay so step one grab the gbx cart place it inside the reproduction game housing shell thing take note where the usb-c port is as you can see and then take your take your sharpie and just Mark it. So, for example, I want it right here. Maybe a little thicker. Okay. So, that's the part I'm going to have to go cut out. Same with the front shell. See where that goes. You need to go... With our Sharpie ready, I don't know if you can see that, uh, just get our flush cutters and just start cutting. Now you could be, you could treat this really nice and make a really clean cut with like 
some files, maybe a Dremel, but I frankly do not give a shit, so... Here we go. So we don't have to cut out this entire side. I think we can just cut out this little uh, part that sticks out here. If you can see right here, this little ribbing. So notice where our mark is. Just Uh, that came out much better than this, but okay. All right, so test fit. So as you can see, it fits, but we do need to cut out more of the cartridge so a USB-C cable can fit in. If I try to plug a USB-C cable in, it can barely fit, it won't, yeah, it's not, it's not fitting. Okay, so. Fits over here, okay. So clean up some, clean up some of the cuts over there. Okay, let's see if I can plug it in. Yeah, okay, I can plug it in. All right, that's basically it. And then just, you know, use the screw and just screw it back together. Ta-da, there you go. Now you just plug a cartridge in like, And then you can plug that into your computer. So plug it in. As you see the lights turn on. And then if I go ahead and click connect. All right, Game Boy Advance. Cool. And it's able to read all my um, save data and the ROM that's on this cartridge, uh, which is emerald. Cool, but what if you don't want to contribute to the e-waste that is reproduction cartridges? Because God knows they won't last. Um, well, the alternative is, where is it? Ta-da! Game Boy Advance shovelware. That's right, you can find plenty of games for really cheap that are just basically awful games like Uno or Texas Hold'em Poker for super cheap and then you can just use the cartridges. The cartridge shells, not the PCBs. However, do be aware that if you don't use a transparent card and use a standard gray card like this, which is what most shovelware comes in, you will not be able to see the lights on this thing. And if and let me go ahead and disassemble this again. Um, and if you're going to be using this GPS card often, like often, often, what I suggest you do is 
drill a hole in the little cartridge, in the front of the cartridge, so you can click this button. You need to click this button during updates. So while I don't think you're gonna be like updating every single time you try to use it, you know, if if it is, if you are updating often enough where it is becoming an annoyance, just drill a small hole around this area and then you can just use a pick or a pen or something to poke it, maybe even a screwdriver. So as I was saying, shovelware is really accessible and can be had for really cheap prices. So it does make sense why you'd want to buy a used copy of a shovelware title instead of paying $5 for whatever the fuck this is. This isn't even worth $5. It's isn't even worth like 10 cents. It's fucking garbage. But anyways, in its stock form, you won't be able to put it in. Why? Because if you try, you'll notice it does fit in. It, it, it does have the correct shape. But because the, the PCBs are smaller than the actual cartridges, the OEM cartridges will need little pegs to hold these PCBs in place. If I can just... As you can see, there's a lot of dead space up top, and yeah. So, if you wanted, you could just cut off these little pegs right here and here. You would have to make it pretty flat, but you'd be able to fit this in there. Now, am I going to do this with this one? No, not really. I don't, I don't really feel like it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, maybe if I buy Texas Hold'em Poker, I'll go check it out but otherwise hey what's this thing in there i don't know but yeah so in its stock form a real oem nintendo cartridge would not work but i'm fairly certain it could be modified to fit you know however if we do do that like for example okay so we put that there and we put that there you're not going to be able to see any of the lights on there so maybe it's worth drilling a hole just like for the button, but for where the lights are, so you can see better. I don't know, man. And if you're going to be buying just the just the cartridge shell itself, like this, no PCB included, please make sure with the seller that actually comes with a little screw that screws in on the back. This one did, luckily the seller was like, yeah, it does come with it, but that's not always gonna be the case, so make sure. Uh. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna keep in the leaf ring shell, cause oh, uh, another thing why you don't want to buy repros is these things fit horribly. Like, like it's not coming out. It's so it like the the cartridge gets so stuck in there, not even gravity will take it out. All right, so comparison here is a authentic emerald card. See, it, 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 it goes in and out, and out really easily, just with gravity. However, you take a shitty reproduction cartridge, it's not even coming out, even with a bit of force. So, yeah, just, just, don't, even bother with, just don't even bother with repros or bootlegs. If you just really want to play the game and you don't want to pay, like, $90, just buy a flash card. And then go ahead, place the cartridge shell back on a little lower than, than the top. Okay, but first make sure the GBX card is actually fitted in correctly. Okay, now see, slot it in, it's down, and then we slide up, and then we screw the back. I don't think it matters. The school does not matter. Okay, turn it to the left until you can hear and feel a click. And screw it in. Ta da! Now, the PCB will move a little bit inside the shell, but 
I mean, if you're really worried about that, you can just adhere it with like some capped on tape or something. That's it. That's how you place a cartridge shell over the PCB of a GBX RW. Fairly obvious, but I literally could not get anybody to explain to me how to do this. Like, it's actually insane. Like, I checked the Inside Gadgets website, and they didn't say anything about it. They just said, oh, it's included. Okay, so I checked the instructions, or the manual. Uh, you just kind of do it. I mean, okay, so then I asked Retro Game Repair Shop, and they're also like, just read the instructions. And I'm like, the instructions don't say anything, and then they just never reply to me. So, I guess I have to make this video, because clearly nobody can, nobody was able to answer my question. I just have to make the video myself, I guess. Oh well, that's how it goes. Pretty cool. Don't, don't waste your money on this cheap shit. Just get a used copy of a shovelware game or a game you don't care about, or just buy the, sh just buy the shells themselves. They're like $2 from AliExpress. I think mine was free shipping too, so let's go. Okay. All right, yeah, that's the end of the video. A uh, bigger video coming soon, I want to say end of next week. If it's not out by then, feel free to yell at me. And that's about it. Right. Peace.